Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to your monthly love forecast for what does your love interest, the one you're here for, the one you want to know about, what do they secretly want to tell you for December? Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. Also, this reading is going to be for singles, couples, anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. Okay, so, and also guys, my personal readings are now open for the month of December. So if you're interested in getting a personal reading with me in the month of December, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. I, I don't want to take up too much time. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's going on my Virgo's love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. What does my Virgo's love interest secretly want to tell my Virgo's for the month of December? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we're going to do three lines of three lines of five, and we're going to touch upon what's the blockage to this connection or obstacles. What's the influence involved in this connection? What do they secretly want to tell you? And what is the possible or likely outcome here? Okay, of this connection. Okay, so. And please also check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information, Virgo. Your sun sign represents your soul, your moon sign represents your emotions, Virgo, and your rising sign represents your physical you, Virgo. All three of these, Virgo, make up who you are, so feel free to cross, cross watch for more information. Yeah, that's the thing. I always see similar things coming up in other readings, and I know that somehow it's connected for you guys. Wow, nice card for the last card. Okay. Oh my goodness, beautiful. I cannot wait to dig into this reading. Okay, all right. Okay, let me pull this aside here. Sorry about that. All right, so let's talk about this. So the first card is the Nine of Pentacles energy. It seems like somebody is just kind of focused on themselves. They're hesitant to want to have a conversation and talk about this. They're having the sense that maybe I should just you know, get myself prepared or have everything that I need first. And I feel like the Empress is saying there's this sense of attraction or huge potential here uh, or something to do with love and abundance or the, the sense of, all right, is there truly potential here to start a family, you know, or there could be a huge focus on money too, because Nine of Pentacles and Empress is kind of a money kind of related um, cards. And Three of Pentacles, again, is a very money related card. Uh, Three of Pentacles is like, all right, I need to work together. I need to build a foundation, right? There could be more than one choice or option. And there's something to do possibly for some of you about marriage and something to do with ending a marriage, stopping a marriage, completing something pertaining to marriage, long-term commitment. So I feel like for some of you Virgos in your situation so far, I can feel that for some of you guys, there was somebody who had just come out of a relationship Okay, and uh, there's still the sense of you know dealing with that energy, or it's they're still kind of like they're separated from that situation, and um, they're still kind of like dealing with that. Like it's like someone's like like feeling like they're kind of still like in a place of you know a bad place. Like they're 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 uh, uh, there's a vulnerable position going on here because so we're talking about obstacles. Um, and Nine of Pentacles is like, all right, I want to isolate myself. There is this. Is there a huge potential to start a family or something to do with this potential here for love and abundance? But it's like, you know, I, I need to work together. I need, I have more than one choice or option. There's something to do with marriage and something needs to end for a new opportunity for some of you, Virgo. Um, so let's keep going. I want to clarify more information here. Nine of Pentacles, yeah. Desires for huge potential to work together for marriage and to end a situation for a new situation. Okay, so Virgos, romantic love life. What's gonna happen my Virgos romantic love life? What does their love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about, what does Virgos love interest secretly want to tell Virgos for the month of December? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's see what that Nine of Pentacles is about. So, also, there's multiple buzzing going on. So I know that some of you are going to receive some, some form of text message, some form of communication back and forth with this person. 
Okay, so store card talks about, hmm, some of you, there may be something to do with a pregnancy as well. Because the store card, it can talk about pregnancy. Empress is a motherly energy. All right, um, so it's interesting. So some changes happening here, changing from one location to another location. There could be somebody who's like, all right, I need to make sure I have everything that I need to start a family here with the Empress card energy. Yeah, bear card energy. Okay, so for some of you, the obstacle may be a motherly energy or something to do with pregnancy or potential for pregnancy or starting a family. What's the Three of Pentacles about? Money and finance, emotions at play here with the fish card energy. And then we see Hierophant can talk about a decision, uh, you know, a want to make some kind of decision about a long term commitment. And the ring card talks about ending, stopping, or some kind of change when it comes to a commitment, engagement, or marriage. And then I also feel like with this card combination, it's like a commitment needs to be cut away or cut out as part of the obstacle for some of you, or something to do with uh, abrupt decisions towards some kind of commitment, engagement, or marriage, or not wanting to repeat the same patterns. So Stork is like, improvements and changes because someone is self-focused, they're isolating themselves because of a parent, possibly empress, there's a motherly energy, or because of wanting to start a family, or something to do with a family, uh, and lacking that courage and strength. There seems to be a lot of emotions that play with the fish card energy, and there's more than one choice or option with the three of pentacles energy, and the decision needs to be made about marriage, commitment, traditional values, and the death card talks about something that happened where somebody, there was a, there was an ending of something, something changed here when it came to a commitment to engage your marriage. Looking at the numbers, putting the work or effort into healing, recovery, and love, a lot of thinking about how to complete this, accomplish this, a lot of overthinking going on, seven card energy. So now let's see what the influence is. That was the block, it's the obstacles. Okay, so the positive influence, I can see that the chariot is saying there's a victory here. Uh, there's a person that's going to take charge of the situation, but there seems to be this lack of strength or courage in making a choice. Full card talks about, all right, should I take a risk? Should I take a leap of faith? Am I going to be naive about the situation? Should I wait for the right opportunity here for things to grow and see the bigger picture here? Cat card. Coffin card. Book card cross card and Lily's card. The central theme is like, all right, there's something secret here. The influence is somebody is not telling the truth about ending, stopping her pleading and keeping something secret when it comes to birds and challenges for a long time. Lily's card energy. Mm, okay. Uh, victory here and wanting to take charge, but not being honest about the strength or courage or lack of strength or courage in ending a situation, keeping something secret about a decision and hesitant in taking a risk because of burdens and challenges and being patient and feeling like there's a wise decision here and waiting for the right opportunity. Okay, Virgos, yeah, I want to hear about this in the comments below here. Okay, so let's see what this person secretly wants to tell you, Virgo. So we see the emperor is like, all right, I want to take control of this Virgo, but I'm indecisive about this. Okay, what's what do they want to take control of? Clover card, mice card. Clover card can be take a risk, leap of faith, take a gamble in making a choice, or take control of this reconciliation, stressing about an indecision. They want to hold on to you, Virgo, but it's almost like they're blocking things out here with the pentacles, uh, four of pentacles energy. They're hopeful that they can have a positive outcome with you. They're hopeful to fulfill their desires here with the star card energy. Justice tells me that they intend to make some kind of decision. Just choice, just decision, marriage, divorce, okay? For this opportunity, okay, with the key card energy. Okay, so before I go any further, I feel like for some of you Virgos, there's a situation where someone could are be in a, a marriage, a relationship, and the person is like kind of going back and forth with you about, yeah, I'm gonna leave this person, you know, and I'm gonna be with you, and. I feel like they're kind of going back and forth with that energy, Virgo. For others of you, there is issues around a motherly energy, okay, with the Empress, or something to do with starting a family, and uh, or something to do with money involved in the situation with the Three of Pentacles, the Empress, and the, and the Nine of Pentacles. And it's like, they're like, all right, hesitant in making the decision because of financial issues when it comes to marriage, long-term commitment, because they need to end uh, some kind of commitment, or they're, they're really money-focused here in their commitment. 
and um, uh, we see that they're not being honest with you or the influences. Someone is not being honest about travel, movement, or change, or a victory, or taking charge of the situation because of the lack of courage and strength to make some kind of decision here. And there's, there's a secret here about, or trying to gain knowledge about making a decision. Someone's like, all right, I don't know if I should take a risk, a leap of faith, or you know, gamble on this because of these burdens and responsibilities I have to deal with. So I should wait for the right opportunity before I make this wise choice and wise decision. The Empress is telling me, um, the ending card is telling me that this person feels Virgo or wants to tell you that you are their ideal partner, that you have everything that they want, okay, with the Magician card energy. And they want something stable with you, okay? Opportunity for something stable. You are everything that they want. They, make a, they want to make a decision to hold on to you. They're trying to be hopeful of a positive outcome. They're stressing about this indecision and wanting control around this reconciliation for some of you or taking a risk. We see it going further here, Virgo. Changes, but someone's not being honest about a reconciliation. Nine of Pentacles, self-focus in a victory because of willpower and strength. Strength and control in this potential huge, um, you know, in starting a family or love and abundance. Lack of strength or courage in ending, stopping, completing, stressing about an indecision. Emotional energy about more than one choice or option or working together to build a foundation. This choice is being kept secret or something to do with this choice and someone's trying to gain knowledge about it. There's hopeful energy about wanting to hold on to you, Virgo. There's this decision being made about marriage, long-term commitment or a traditional relationship. There's burdens and challenges and a sense of being foolish here um, or taking a risk or late leap of faith or hesitant in doing that because of burdens and responsibilities. There's a sense of justice, a just choice, just decision, marriage, divorce, and an opportunity here uh, they, they feel like you're very important. They want to make a commitment here to end a situation for this new opportunity. It's been a long time. There's this wisdom here and waiting for the best opportunity because the stuck energy and an ideal situation with the magician card. So let's now see Virgo. What is the outcome here? What's the potential likely outcome of the situation? 10 of cups is saying, you guys are going to be completely happy here. You see that there are signs being shown here with the rainbow. There's emotions are going to be, you know, very calming. And so it's a very happy energy and it looks like two people are together. But it does look like there still will be some juggling going on here with these two pentacles energies back and forth. What should I do here? What should I do here? Which is still going to cause this stuck energy with the hangman. So delays and challenges. There's a conversation taking place, which is going to be very revealing about how to make a sacrifice here, all right? Uh, a conversation that will reveal things about this stuck energy, about what has to be sacrificed here and making this choice for complete happiness because of these delays and challenges. All right, my beautiful Virgos, I love you guys so much. Yes, I wanna hear from you guys in the comments below. I know it's a very complex situation going on for you guys. Yes, I wanna hear from you guys in the comments below. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in another day or two. Also, the weeklies are up and available for you guys to watch, which is the day today and the overall, as well as the monthlies, which is love, career and finance, and health and wellness. And if you guys are interested in booking a reading with me for the month of December, they are up and available and open right now. You can go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com. I love you guys so much. I, uh, I send blessings to you guys and have a, try to have a great rest of your month, okay?